He would easily pass for a patron at the village market or its sister company, the Tribe Hotel, but his popularity immediately strikes you. He seems to know everyone or to be known by everyone, and the ease with which the staff there deal with him will get any observer curious or green with envy. <laughs> Meet Hamed Esani, the proprietor of the multi-billion shillings property that is the village market and the tribe hotel. So I see myself as a businessman who wishes to make a difference. Uh, not only in the business environment, but in the social environment as well. The 60-year-old father of three boys was born and raised in Iran, but attended university in the United States where he says he got a lot of exposure to influence some of the decisions he has reaped from today. His father was a man of means, a wealthy businessman dealing in industrial chemicals. While Hamed was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, it has not always been so. He says he has had to build his empire from scratch. Due to religious differences, uh, as the wealth that was accumulated in Iran by uh, the family was confiscated. And so for us, Kenya was a new beginning. He's talking about the Islamic revolution of 1979 that saw Iran's monarchy under Shah Mohammed Pahlavi overthrown by Ayatollah Khomeini. His family, appearing to be on the wrong side of the revolution, had to seek livelihoods outside Iran for security reasons. Fortunately, Hamid and his brothers had completed university education and were already in employment. They landed in Kenya in 1980 completely by chance, having passed through the country on their way to Australia. And we fell in love with the country and the people and we stayed. With his brother Miraz Esani, an architect, they decided to start life here as according to them the country was fertile ground for their ambition. This was born uh, on a day trip to Limuru with my brothers. We were coming back. Uh, one of the brothers mentioned that uh, this area in Gigiri does not have any shopping element. They had noticed the Kenyan idea of a village market where people from different areas would meet, exchange goods and services, deliver messages, catch up and so on. But having been exposed to the Western world through their education, wanted it to have a modern touch. We managed to secure a loan at the bank at the time. The whole project at that time was 69 million shillings. They started with 10 shops and even these were difficult to rent out at first as the place appeared removed from the city center and possibly without a client base. Today, the village market contains over 150 stores besides the colorful Maasai market that opens every Friday. If 30 years ago you had asked me where uh, I would be, uh, I would have not imagined that I'll be running a shopping complex or, or a hotel or um, property. Out of his life's lessons, one he holds dearly is appreciation of people as he says that without this he would not have achieved much. You know, when you set yourself above others, uh, and you're out of reach, it creates major problems. When you bring yourself to the level of others and even lower, and if, you know, it takes a lot of spiritual discipline to consider yourself lower, that is when good things happen, because humility has its fruits. He recently completed the tribe hotel and says that he already has requests from heads of some African countries to set up a similar hotel in their countries and says that tribe could soon be a pan-African brand. Some discussion are advanced and says that it is only a matter of time before you find the tribe hotel in your next African destination. On the village market, he says that the plan is to replicate the same in some counties in the country. But it has not come easy. Uh, don't uh, look for get-rich-quick uh, ideas. Mm, they happen in the movies, but in real life, nothing takes the place of hard work and honest work. He says that he is not driven by money, but the need to make a difference in people's lives. It's ego and individualism that creates problems. If, uh, when you start looking at everything for yourself and nobody else, uh, when you start uh, seeing the world there just for you, uh, is when problems arise. You know, then you get into conflict, family or with, with, with others. But uh, when you see differently and you see yourself as part of the whole, uh, then uh, your whole mindset changes. And he also says that people should not be comfortable with who they are, but instead of seeking to selfishly enrich themselves, should seek to become better people and the rest will fall into place. Samuel Kantai, KTN Sunday Night Live.